Hello everyone, welcome to Renard.tv. It's me, Mal. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen my New Year video, Happy New Year for 2017. I hope the start of the year has been great for you. Um, just a quick shout out to the winner of my Q Sports, uh, sorry, Q Case uh, competition. It's JT, just taking off what I want to talk about here. Um, JT won that, he's now received it. So unfortunately, uh, that competition has been claimed, guys, but hopefully JT likes the case and uh, gets a lot of joy out of it. Not that you can get a lot of joy out of a case, but you know what I mean. So this is another one of my uh, vlog videos um, where I try and just chat a bit whilst having a game of snooker. Hopefully you enjoy the snooker. It's a waste of three racks or three frames against Mad Max, who's a, a good computer opponent. Uh, I haven't really played too much um, snooker or anything, in fact. And there was the black, and the black's going to go on the pink spot, I think, because the white's on the black spot. Which is actually helpful because if the black had have found a way to get around there, this red wouldn't have been on. Um, so I'm a bit rusty, so you might see a bit of positional fun in games uh, because I'm not actually fully wonderful with the game. Now here the, we're going to end up with the pink and black on alternate spots. It's not a bug, it's just the way the frame's gone. That's in my pot of mind. Um, so yeah, what have I been up to? It's mainly this month just been work. Uh, been leafleting. I've got uh, standard for election, as you know, and uh, it's been a case of just getting the old leaflets out. Um, it's been a bit of a slog. I'm not used to the physical endurance of diets, unfortunately, not good at the minute, so I need to try and improve that as well as the pot in Christ. That was bad. Like I say, I'm thoroughly out of practice. I haven't really played that much VP for that red, might just sneak in. Um, not by design, I just found it, uh, you know, since the US Open that I put a lot of time into playing and I managed to win that, obviously. And I just found it really hard to just sort of commit to the practice and the all that sort of thing that you have to do. You'll notice that the vlog has been quite varied recently. I've had, I'm just looking at the list here. We've had, obviously, a FIFA video I put up the other day. Just thought I'd try that out. What I found with that, actually, was the rendering, because I use PowerDirector, um, I want to upgrade that in the near, very near future to the latest PowerDirector version, but at the minute I use PowerDirector 9, I think it is, it's quite an old version, Craigie, that's rusty. Um, and when I'm when you line up the video things, you've got to cut them and, and obviously take out bits you don't want and all that sort of thing. And I like to follow the kind of edited way you don't see every moment of the game, but it takes so long. I mean, literally the computer, I press cut, and then it should just cut the, the video thing it takes so long to do, like 30 seconds per cut, and there's two cuts per video. Sounds a bit technical, but just a case of like you're cutting the same section out of the speech and the uh, game feed. And uh, it literally can take with 40 like cuts, about 40 minutes to do it, it's just far too long. So what I might do as a result of that, if PowerDirector uh, 12 doesn't improve it, is to actually, um, it's a good part. Is, is to actually just have the game where you see, you see the full game. So a little bit like when I used to do the other sports as well. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. It's something I'd like to do. Seems to be fairly well received. I'm not the best FIFA player, but I'm playing quite a bit of it at the minute. So I thought I'd include that as well as the old Q Sports videos as well. Um, well another video sort of plan that I want to do. Um, there's a guy video he's got a great really sort of nice smooth voice called Bob ShareTube if you look for that um, it's in my liked list if you have a look at my liked videos I think I've got a playlist of my liked videos if you look on there you'll see some of these videos on there that's a good part I think this might be the end of frame for me it's certainly going to be hard for us to win from here although that yellow and red is an issue for him um, and I quite like the, the idea of doing these sort of chilled out betting guides um, so I might try doing a couple of those. He does them. He doesn't like. He's the sharpest tool in the drawer. The guy who does them, but uh, he looks fun to do. So I might try those. That's a better part. 
Um, I'm not sure if the black goes here, let's have a look. It does go, but what chance have I got of being on anything? Hmm. I think I'm going to try and pot the black and then I can play safe off the reds. So I've got the black. Could turn out to be vital points. And then just leave the white behind the brown, hopefully. That was the idea behind that shot. Might get there. Oh, great pot. They're so hard to do. I wish I could do those in real life. Ah, oh, that hurts. Speaking of real life, um, I've recently got a new snooker tip shaping kit, which I'm going to maybe do a video. I'm not an expert on it, um, but I'm going to look at it. Um, so he now has a, I now need a snooker, 30 points and I'm 26, 27 points on the table and 30 points behind. So we'll have to start trying to get a snooker here. Not easy to get against a computer by any stretch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I may be doing do a, a tip video. Literally. Oh wow, look at that. That hurts. Well, I hit it. It's going safe, so decent hit. Gonna be t the computer's really good at uh, laying snoopers. That's the one thing the computer's very good at. As you're about to see, I'm just going to shoot this on. So I just want to hit it and try and get lucky, really. Like this. Looks like it could be close. It could be close. Oh, it's not close. Unlikely I get a snooker from here, I'll be honest. And I think he might have just knocked that in, which... That ends the frame. Probably clear up anyway. So I want to thank you guys for the support on the channel because I've now I've broken to 700 subscribers. It's by no means a, a milestone for me in terms of a normal milestone, but I've kind of crept up over the last year from 600 to 700. Uh, I would like to get that higher, but obviously I'm not posting enough really to warrant that yet. But I'm getting a few more. Uh, it's always nice to see people have watched the videos and, and, and like the videos. Oh, I've just committed the cardinal sin. Ruined the black and the blue and the yellow. God. One break virtually guarantees a scrappy frame. Right, let's go. So I'm going to open some of these up. There was a guy who asked about buying this game and is it still active. I uh, found out that Hugh, Nineball.com, no longer is part of the community as far as I know, which, which is a great shame. Um, I haven't always found it easy to get on with you, with you um, but he's done a lot for the game and uh, I'm sad to see him leave the community, if that indeed is what has happened. I'm not sort of in the, as you guys know, I, I do a lot to promote this game. And the game's done very well from my, I'm not going to say endorsement, but from my support. Um, I'm just going to try and nestle. Oh dear, that's gone wrong. Horribly wrong. Um, the game's done well from my support. There's a lot of people buy, buy the game as a result of my uh, watching my videos. I don't know how many. Uh, somebody asked me, was I an affiliate of the game? What the, what, what the game allows me to do is to monetize my videos. Um, the problem is I get so few hits in, in, in real terms that what I earn <coughs> is so minimal that I never actually have had a payout yet. <laughs> actually, I tell a lie, I might have had one of $100, but that's, for, that's four years worth of gaming. So it's not hugely lucrative. I don't do it for the money. If I did, I would have given up ages ago because I don't earn any. Um, at the same time, you know, I guess yeah, I don't at all do it for the money. I want that to creep in. That's a good shot. So here, this frame definitely has been about sort of 
slowly building a break rather than now does the black go itself I can't actually tell no it doesn't um, now that's a poor shot because this red here at the bottom that one there is my next shot so I'm gonna have to it's not the hardest shot here these are the types of shots that you become better at oh I missed it when you're playing more My sighting goes on key shots when I haven't played for a bit. It's not an excuse, it's just a fact. It's still a bad miss. Right, I might have this red down here. I'm just going to shoot and have a look. Hoping I've gone too far. So it doesn't go. Um, so I'm just going to have to play safe. This could turn out to be somewhat of a long video. Happy with the white here. Um, so what else have I got to vlog about? So I've talked about the betting guides. Um, just it's going to be me talking about what is an up to 15, how do you work out how many bets they are, you know, that type of thing. Just something I like to do. I love chilled out videos that don't really matter. <laughs> I don't, I think. Um, that needs to go behind the brown. I've left this red on. That needs to go. It's not going to go. It's going to stop. Oh, damn it. This could be a problem if this drops. Ooh, missed it. And opened a few reds up as well. Did he get punished? Not really. Also a video that I watched over Christmas, guys, that you guys should check out. Uh, Margin Call with Paul Beckman, Kevin Spacey, Stanley Tucci, I think it is. Uh, who else? Um, who's a guy called? He was in Die Hard. He was a baddie in the second one. Oh man, what's his name? Anyway, it doesn't. I don't want that to drop. Oh, right, that might help me. So I've got a chance here to get a few, a few points. I'm actually ahead in this frame. Now oh, these are hard shots to play, and I've messed it up. I actually could lie and tell you that's what I played, but I didn't. I was trying to get on the black there. Oof, just dropped the yellow, Jesus. That would have been a painful miss. I might get lucky here and just land on the middle. I didn't play for it. What I played for, which is what I'm not even on, was that red down there. Put all donations received with thanks. And I think that's going to drop. Yeah. But that hasn't worked out well. Hmm. It's not really a... I should have maybe hit that harder. I might have found myself covered in glory. In fact, I would have done. Now I'm not brave enough. Yes. Brave enough or stupid enough to go for this shot. that <laughs> crazy uh, okay for 30 points ahead with not a lot on but enough I'm happy with that position oh, Jesus Christ that is a classic example of just not having played for a while. You lose that 1% of aiming ability, it's, it's weird. However, I think I've done enough to secure this frame. Unless that drops, of course. Wow. Clears up from there, it would hurt. That looks wide, but it's going to drop. Oh, well, so um, tw 17 points ahead of 27 on the table. This would take me 19 points ahead of 25 on the table. And I missed it. 
and got a nasty jaw. But I might ricochet it far enough away to not leave that pot on. I don't think it's on. Yeah, it didn't look on. Um, so here I've just got a contain. That'll do. It's quite funny now, I just sort of automatically see the shots these days. Um, just gonna, this doesn't change a lot. Um, it doesn't really change anything, I just need to contain. That's okay. Um, I haven't really played that much, uh, but something I am doing that's quite interesting if, you, if you're watching this, all of it is I'm doing, I'm going to an event on the 3rd of February at the Blackfriars Usburn Cinema um, in, in Newcastle. Um, I've got a ticket for that because what it is, you guys might have seen uh, a thing that, um, what is it? One of my favorite films. That could be the end of frame for him. Probably should be. I want that to check and I haven't hit it hard enough. Um, it's it's a film called Puny Belter, and it's based in my neck of the woods, and it was filmed in nineteen ninety nine, and it's now eighteen years since then. Amazing! So everyone's getting a bit older. Who's in the film? I wasn't obviously in the film, but I did a I did a um, documentary on it. If you go to YouTube and you search for Puny Belter, you'll find a video from a couple of years ago now where I talk about the themes in the film. And uh, I actually got in touch with the, the guy who played Jerry in the film. And we talked for a while about collaborating to do like a tribute. And it never actually happened. Partly because I was doing it with my mate, Rob, who, who let me down. Didn't do the, didn't follow through with coming out with me and I believe my mate Sam, when we went to Newcastle to actually film some stuff at the various locations, uh, it was actually the, we, we, we did a bit and then we were going to meet up to, and this goes on its own spot, I'll be rather upset, ha ah. ha uh, safety, um, we were going to meet up to do another bout of filming and it never happened, I think that was actually the last time I saw him. It could even be something stupid like two years ago, that's enough. Um, we seem to go miles and miles of time without seeing each other. So anyway, um, anyway, somebody else, what I didn't, couldn't do was find any of the cast, but there's a magician guy called Chris Cross, and he has done really well, and he's managed to put all of this together. Um, and, and it's going to be the full interviews with, with the cast members. He's even got Tim Healy there, who used to be in Off We The Same Pet. You know, as, as one of those guys. Um, so yeah, the tickets were about twelve quid, and I'm really looking forward to that. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Then what they're doing is they're basically showing a a street uh, a, sh a showing of the film, for, and then all the cast is getting up to the stage eighteen years later. Uh, first time they've all been together. And they're going to do a Q&A on the film, uh, some stories from filming it, what they think about the themes in the film. It is going to be cool. Um, and for, for a sort of a nerd like me, I think. Ah, oh, no. What am I doing, man? Um, so, Zach Gora. What else? That's about it, really. Not much else going on, guys. Just the snooker. I'd love to spin that in, but I don't think I can get to the pot angle. No. Another thing that I've, that I've got, um, I'm going to try and, uh, try and play safe off the... And play safe off the blue here. You know, I want to get in amongst the balls and get this frame secured. I don't want to take any silly chances. 
Um, but I got one of those things. Where the, another thing I've been getting into recently is darts. I guess you could say I've had the physique for years, but I've never quite. I'm not a. I'm nowhere near like I don't know, like a say pro darts player. I'm nowhere near a good darts player. Um, I've had a couple of one eighties. I can throw a dart if that makes sense. I can. I know we can all throw a dart, but I can kind of throw it accurately. Um, and I'm going to do a couple of dart videos for you. And I've got one of those rings with the lights, um, which is really good. It's great fun and uh, it makes all the difference in the world. I'm going to get some darts practice rings. Um, it's something I'd like to get better at this year, along with my golf game. Uh, so I'm definitely going to keep playing. Right. Oh, that didn't work. If that just goes straight in. No, it doesn't. But yeah, I'd love to... I'd love to get good enough where I could like play for somebody, like a team, but I'd uh, maybe, you know, be good enough to play the tournament maybe, because I love tournaments, if anything. I don't like the time you spend standing around, but I love, you know, the idea that you're playing, you know, games and your matches and I don't mind losing, so I just enjoy the whole, the whole experience of playing the tournament. Right, so we're putting a little bit of a break together here, we haven't really had a good break yet. Um, goes through the cider. God knows what I'm going to talk about. I nearly missed that one. Uh, right, we'll have to load up with bottom. Come round. I don't want to hit it. Oh, got very lucky there. Um, that was a, a sign of my previous glory for sure. So anyway, we've got a, a decent lead in this one. Mad Max is a solid opponent if you play the game offline. He's uh, prone to a few big breaks. Like any computer opponent, he makes errors. Big moment here in this frame. Will it go in? If it doesn't, I'll probably win. There we go. So here I'm going to play off the cushion and I'll take whichever ball presents the best angle to get in the red. I think that's the pink here. Oh no, Mr. Pot. The worst thing you can do there is hit the red Mr. Pot. You'd rather uh, you get the pot, you're still at the table. Mr. Pot, Mr. Red, it's fine. Yeah, that's, that's desperately bad. That wasn't a good uh, shot. And he's played safe. Am I going to get a go at it? Right, so here you can go down or up. I prefer to go up because you're not going to leave unless you do that. Like, what did I do wrong there? Must have hit hard enough. See, that's a problem. You don't, what you don't want to do is to shoot them in the same direction. But at least I hit it. So I'm what, 16 points ahead. That was a funny shot. If he wobbles there, so he's got a problem. No, but it's still there. So it's a KG affair. I know you guys enjoy the tactics. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, I don't think I was far away from that one, mind. Oh! Right. <laughs> it was going towards it, but... Right now he's left this on and he's left me an angle to get on the brown. What I'm going to try and do is bring it back to the side cushion. Try and get in the middle and then again screw this. Good shot. Should be. And it is end of frame. So 2-0, two, 2-1 nil, two, two, in this match. And the best thing about these matches is I don't have to 
Hello. Oh, get a shot straight off the straight off the break. Um, now here I'm going to try. Now this will be fun. Whatever break I get here is directly off the off the actual break off shot. So imagine if I just break in like dish or something. That'd be cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Pot, I don't believe it. Oh. So here I've got to watch this red, so I'm going to go probably towards the, a little bit of top left, go towards that top bag. Anywhere around that top bag was what I'm aiming for here. Yeah. A little bit of side, and there you go. Of course, he does that like. Oh, oh come on, ref. That one could be white. Where's the white ball going? Give me to Jamie. Uh, right, so. Slap bead. It's trapped again. How many times a game does this happen? Right, it's faster, faster. Ball was jumped. Right, I'm gonna play. Um turn past. If that goes in, I'll feel really silly. Yeah, I didn't think it did. Oops. Oh no. This is the type of shot Mad Max and Killers on. Miss, I'll feel terrible. Oh no. Could have lost the frame on this slide. Now, if I can get the black on its spot here, um, without going it off, which I'm not far away from doing. No. Right, yeah. Could have been, could have, would have, should have. Cagey beast. Well, wow. that's a shot, isn't it? Zip. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's going to take me in this frame. Well, he gives me a rather tempting chance. Should have gone behind that green, but what a pot if it goes in. No. Mm. A bit cagey this one. Um. Oh my god. 
God. So the red goes, I've lost. Yeah, 27. Well, I can still win by one, but obviously he's going to play ball, so I'm going to lose this frame. There we go. Decide it. Never really got going in that frame, that was a bit irritating. So the apologies for the long video. <laughs> I can't do anything when I'm playing a race to three. I was gonna play a race to five, can you imagine? Oh my god, I just made a mess of the whole thing. And he's stuck. Oops. Oh nice hit. Right. Frame and break, he says. You know what guys, that was really unfortunate what happened there. I never really, th I don't, don't think I can go for this. Ooh, he's, trying, he's trying to give it to me. Straight was not what I wanted. Um, blue's not on its spot. Hmm. Houston, we have a problem. Right, slight issue here. I'm going to try and come back up for the black. This is fraught with danger. Absolutely. Are you going to come high enough? No, it is not. That was not a percentage shot, guys. To, if I ever say it, you play the percentage shot, and you can show me a clip of that. Um, at least I'm at the table. Um, it's not a bad shot. That is not a bad shot. Keep going, ball. Right, that was a nicely done sting. Here we go. Don't miss the pot. Hmm. Now if I can screw back, basically following the line, hit this in and come back, actually back that way into there, black ball into there, that's what I'm thinking about doing. If I can get it, the angle right, just hit that red full in the face. Or do that, that works too. Right, this is it, this is a shot. Got it. Now they're all here, so this is a chance. What 
be 25 ahead, so come on. First come on of the frame. Straight again. Incredible ability to land straight. But, oh, Jesus. I think here what I'm going to try and do is to come back off this black, come across here, and take on this red there into that pocket. That's what I think I'm going for here. Whether I get it or not, another matter. No, it's gone wrong. I actually got away with it, but... If I've landed straight again, God's sake, oh my God. I've gone again for the shot that I tried to play before and it's worked perfectly this time. That could be a frame winner. I want to hit that hard enough to come back past this red. Oh, just phew. Right, that was that was close. I think I've done it. Yeah, I think I've done it now. 49 and 45 on. Ooh, just scraped over. Oh! Oh my god, if I pop this! Jesus! So I think he needs snookers. He might actually resign. Yeah, here we go. So we're going to start trying now. He's going to try to get stupid on us now. I don't know how many he needs. We've got 35 left on the table, so that can get him to 51, which means he needs another two four-point snoopers to tie. So I'm in a hugely strong, strong position, particularly if I get a favourable nudge here. That was a good safety shot. He's got to come off, so he misses this, I think we might see a resignation. Oh, he's hit the black, which is a desperately bad shot. So, 50 points ahead, 35 on. I'm just going to try and play a tight stroke behind the black here. Not by this shot. It's worked perfectly. That should be the end of the game. So I hope you enjoyed that slightly longer video guys um, and plenty of chat that we had during it so it's nice to be back videoing again I will get some videos done a uh, few different sports I want to get the video channel I want to get over a thousand subscribers so smash that like button do us a favor and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching